game is like WeChat. You can talk to the virtual characters, sharing the good, the bad, and the annoying. Each character has their own personality, and the generative AI learns from your conversations to match your emotional needs. The game is expected to go online in October. The target markets are in Japan, South Korea, and Southeast Asia. I think, as a whole, the big trend is that if you think about users today, people want higher quality games. Right? It, the, the user demand has changed a lot. People also express themselves within the games, and so I think AI allows、uh, games to be developed better. It allows more expression within the games. So again, there's many ways that we're using AI. It's estimated that over 80 percent of the Chinese game makers are using AI. AI is not only providing a better experience for users; it helps game designers too. You may not be able to tell how in this game, but our designers used AI. If a man uses one day to complete a project, AI only needs 20 seconds to accomplish 80 percent of the work. Human designers use half an hour to one hour to complete the remaining job. Reducing labor costs and providing a better playing experience; these are the two core areas of AI for China's game makers. According to an analytic institution, Market.dot. US, in 2024, the market value of generative AI in the global gaming industry reached over 1.4 billion US dollars. With an annual growth rate of over 25 percent, it seems you can't win without AI. Chen Tong, CGTN, Shanghai.